chicken with cauliflower rice gravy we got some um broccoli and some keto cornbread oh are y'all ready for this honey and we got some strawberry watermelon flavored water with lemon juice delicious who want a yummy bite what's up yummy bites welcome back to another episode of yummy bites tv do y'all see it i know y'all see it Y'all, I'm drinking strawberry watermelon uh, flavored water with lemon juice. Yummy delicious. Ah, uh -huh. yes, y'all. It's always good, honey. It's always delicious, okay? Who is ready for this mother flipping mukbang? Let's play. Let's play. <laughs> Let's pray. A to the man. Let's get some of this good chicken in. Oh, y'all, I know this is gonna fall apart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chipotle Tabasco. Mmm. 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 -mm -mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Bread. Oh my god. That's it. That cornbread is so good. I can't believe it's keto. Wow. Mmm. Freaking tastes like cake. Mmm. It is so good. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm. -mm. Oh, my God. Mmm. Y'all, this cornbread is banging. Wow. It tastes just like Jiffy. The texture is good. Wow. Whoever came up with this, honey, genius. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I've been missing cornbread, y'all. I've been missing it. I ain't gonna lie to you. There's no corn in this cornbread, but it tastes just like it. Mmm. Huh? Cause it's like paradise. 
Oh my god. Yeah, I wanted to go back to the basics, honey. Smothered chicken and gravy with rice. I'm so glad I did it. Mmm. That's remind me of the old days. Mmm. When I first started learning how to cook, I would make this. Mm. But of course it wasn't keto. Mm. Delicious. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe. So now I can make dressing for Thanksgiving because I'm just going to use this um, as my cornbread recipe and then just put everything. Y'all, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Because I was literally craving cornbread today and I was like, let me look on TikTok. I bet you somebody got a good recipe and baby. Found it, honey. <laughs> so happy. So happy. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm about to tear this up. I don't know if I'm gonna eat the whole plate, but I'm gonna try my best. Mmm. Yeah, I'm taking these nails off. <laughs> okay. So y'all not gonna see these nails tomorrow. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have on some shorter nails. It's not just that they're long. They have these charms on them and they always constantly getting in something. My hair, everything, y'all. And I just can't do it. I love them. Y'all, I promise I love them. But. And I still can't wash dishes with these. <laughs> I mean, I can, but. I can't wash them thoroughly, honestly. You know? At least it didn't fall on my pants. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Girl, what is this on my um? Anyway, so how's everybody doing? What y'all eating? Are y'all eating? I heard I'm somebody's um dinner partner. Like, <clears throat> let's come and eat with me every freaking day. I love it. I just want to know what y'all eating too, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. You know what I miss that I need to try to make? Sushi. Okay. Now, I know they have to have sushi that is not made with rice. You know? Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to make um, sushi with cauliflower rice, but I'm figuring, like, 
if I do, the only way that I'd be able to do it, if I mix the cauliflower rice with like cream cheese to make it more um, stiff, if you know what I mean. Oh, excuse me. Like a sticky rice that would go in sushi. Y'all, excuse me, let me know in the comments, have y'all ever had keto sushi? And I'm talking about with cauliflower rice, not with just veggies and that's it. But with cauliflower rice or have you ever made it? Let me know. Oh my God. Hmm. Wow. This is just incredible. Y'all have to make this cornbread. Did y'all know that we could make cornbread? Keto cornbread? Good keto cornbread. Not no bull corn. Mm-mm-mm. Just took a Google search. Or a TikTok search. My bad. <laughs> that is it, honey. I'm going to shout out the person I got from. She was a black girl. And she was doing her mother flipping thing, honey. She was zipping it and zooming it. <laughs> she was zipping and zooming. Let me see. I want to... What's her name? Chef Brie, baby. Okay. Chef Brie. Y'all go check her out. She on TikTok. Whipping up keto stuff. Keto uh, food. Woo! So... Y'all, I was having me another <clears throat> um, hot flash day today, y'all. I don't know what's going on. Like, is this the season for them? Like, <laughs> woo! I've, I've just found myself hot all the time to where I want to go outside. You know what I'm saying? And today, y'all, it wasn't even cold. It was not even cold, y'all. It was literally a pretty spring day today. I guess we're gearing up for the cold weather. And then I heard that we only gonna um, have cold weather for like three days. Like what? Like, oh my God. Can we have a normal weather, please? <clears throat> and let me tell y'all something, I would never buy another coat. No more, I have enough coats that fit now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even guaranteed to wear them. I wore one coat one time. This winter, one. I won't waste no more money on a coat. Mm. Not another dime. Oh, I need to get my money's worth. I can tag my coats. Mmm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted like an old fashioned meal today. And this is what I, <clears throat> this is what I got. I should have did this on, for Sunday, but I don't know, I'm just writing it today. Wow, look at this. <laughs> I'm just shocked. It's moist, like. Mm. 
literally everything I need and want in a cornbread. Because I be needing it to taste like Jiffy. Because that's my favorite, y'all. I don't care what nobody say. Like, it's my favorite. I like it better than homemade cornbread. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It tastes better. <laughs> like, what's your favorite cornbread? Like, something that your grandmother makes? Or is it Jiffy? Mmm. Even the vegetarians can have um, Jiffy cornbread. Because they have vegetarian Jiffy. I mean, they've been had it, but I'm just saying. Mmm. Uh-oh. I'm getting a little full. And y'all, people keep talking about that Miami thing, y'all, and, and some people are just making up silly stuff and putting it on the internet and just, people are saying, I got a video, I got the video, um, and they just hype up this video, right, and they'll make that first video, and then they'll be like, the video is gonna be, um, uh, like for, for more, or something like that, and then they tell you to go to another video where they show this statue, that's standing in the mall, y'all. Talking about that's the, the alien. Girl. Now, I don't believe stuff like that, but I just was like, what is like, what is really going on? Like, people need to stop freaking playing. Like, the stuff is not funny. It's not funny. Freaking tell the truth. Jesus. Or geez. I'm literally working my nerve. <clears throat> mm. mm. Y'all old dude went back to court with another judge, the one who <laughs> Did the Superman on that job. <laughs> that is not funny, but. <laughs> people, people saying that he need to be on the track team. Like, <laughs> the way he flew. He had a whole different attitude, honey, in that courtroom. A whole different attitude. But, oh, and y'all got to tell y'all something else, too. Oh, and y'all, they are calling this uh, weather thing that's going to be coming uh, for a lot of us. They're saying, please prepare for the polar vortex. The polar vortex? That sounds scary. Like, why would you want to call it that? You know, call it a storm, a winter storm. But a polar vortex? Man. And then, y'all, did y'all hear about the massive um avalanche that they had in California anyway? Um, let me show y'all this. Uh, is this it? Yeah, this is it right here. <laughs> okay. Okay, she's going down his um charges, okay? The judge. Years of age or older, a felony. Count three, extortion by threat, a felony. Count four, intimidating a public officer, a felony. Count five, six, seven, eight, and nine are all battery on an officer, the same named victim. Oh, and by the way, I do not know any of the other victims named in the criminal complaint. Uh, those are all felony offenses. Count ten, performance of act or neglect of duty of or wanton disregard. Intimidating an officer? That's a felony? If you intimidate somebody, like you're not physically harming them, but that is a felony? Y'all don't know. I think they made that one up real quick. Like, <laughs> honestly, intimidation, 
Come on. If you're intimidated, that is your problem. Like, I feel like that is the other person's problem. Don't be intimidated. Anyway. Safety or persons of property resulting in substantial bodily harm or death, a felony. Battery on a protected person, count 11, that's a gross misdemeanor offense. Count 12, battery by a prisoner, a felony. Count 13, unlawful act related to human excrement or bodily fluid, a felony. Yeah. All allegedly occurring on January 3rd of 2024. Do you understand these charges? All of that? Mr. Redden, have on you one day? Man, this fool, what? Wait a minute. Are they talking about everything that happened in the courtroom? Those was all the charges. Y'all. Honey. <clears throat> he ain't getting out of there for a very long time. Very long time. Y'all, we got to talk about this young lady uh, that just got out of prison. Um, Her name, let me get her name first. Because I never even knew about this story until, oh, Gypsy Rose. Never had even heard about this story until, um, she got out, and then that's when I heard about the story. Anyway, she had a 10-year sentence. Um, I don't know what her charge was, but it had something to do with um, the planning um, to murder her mom, okay? But she gave, whatever weapon it was, she gave the weapon to her then boyfriend, okay, to go and do it for her. And I believe she waited in the car or something. Um, now, there's definitely backstory to it. Uh, her mom had a Munchausen uh, disease, but she didn't find this out, I believe, until like after everything happened. Her mom was... Acting like she was like sick with all kinds of stuff. Y'all, if you want the story, because I don't have the entire story. I'm just giving me bits and pieces about what I know. Um, and everything is alleged. Okay? That I'm saying. Um, her mom was like, is she, oh my, she did really crazy stuff, y'all. Um, people with this disease, Munchausen, um, they do really crazy things. Um, I, I don't know why, uh, you know, she was trying to she was pretending like her daughter was sick with all kind of stuff she gave her daughter she had doctors give her daughter a feeding tube when she didn't need it all kind of stuff that she did not need all these medicines just all kind of stuff y'all that she did not need she was a normal child but her mom would be taking her to the doctor saying she has this that and this and they would be prescribing these medicines for her and just all kind of stuff um i believe she was in a wheelchair too like Acting like she couldn't walk. Her mom, her mom was doing all this, right? And um, I am thinking that is why she, you know, uh, you know, plotted her mom's murder. Anyway, um, I guess the the jury and the judge. I don't know who you know um, gave her the ten years, but. Um, they found out that her mom had, you know, Munchausen, and I guess that's why she had such a, a small sentence, because the guy who did it, her boyfriend at the time, got life, okay? He got life. Um, and so anyway, she did eight years out of the ten, <clears throat> and... She gets out and now she's a celebrity. Y'all, she was on TikTok, I think, for one day. She immediately got millions, millions of followers. I think she's up to like, mm, it may be 7 million by now. She's been out for, what, a week? I don't know. Has it been a week or more than a week? I don't know. But it was astronomical how much she grew on social media. As soon as she got out, right? 
And I don't know why people are so fascinated with her. Um, I don't understand it. I, I really don't. It's like people are making her a celebrity. Um, and she plotted to murder her mother. I know that she went through stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I just think it's weird that people are making her, uh, like, like she's some type of hero or something. Like it was, like it was good what she did. It wasn't, it wasn't good to me at all. Um, This lady, she been, she's getting a documentary. Um, what else? She's been on all of these talk shows and people are speaking to her like, I mean, I know she was a victim, but she planned the, the murder of her mother. But I just, like she took that into her own hands. Why she couldn't call the police or call somebody you know what I'm saying? To help her. But she plotted it with her boyfriend had him do it. And I just, I don't know. I don't know if people forgot that or if they don't care. I just think that that's, I don't know. I feel like if, if, <laughs> and I don't know, I, I have to take it there. I feel like if that was a black woman, she wouldn't have all of this. Like this lady is literally, she's probably already rich. Or, you know, I just, I don't, I don't understand. I really not. I don't get it at all. I don't get the fascination. Um, If somebody could please let me know what it is in the comments. I don't get it. Why is she so popular? Why? Like, what, like... Are people saying, yay, she did that to her mother or she planned that, you know what I'm saying, against her mother? Like, what is, what is up with that? I don't get it. And when you hear her talk, like, you wouldn't think that she did something like that. You know, she speaks like a, a baby. Like, she sounds like a child. She has a childlike voice. Very, um... She seems like she's shy. Uh, she has a new husband. Um, and people are like, now this is the stance that some people are taking. They're like, why? Um, I, I, no, what are they saying? Um, I wonder if she putting any money on her old boyfriend's books, you know, like, and then when people ask her about him, she's like, um, I hope he's something on his journey. Um, I hope basically not too much. She ain't saying too much about him. She's, you know, Oh, I wish him well or something like that on his journey, you know? And I guess people think that she should have more sympathy for him and maybe, you know, she should be sending him money, you know, since she's out and he's still in there since she had him do it and he's in there because of her. But of course, I'm pretty sure people are like, well, he had his own mind. Like, why did he do it? Like, that was his decision to do that. He didn't have to do it, which he didn't. I do agree with that. But... And she done got out of prison and said, <laughs> good riddance to him. And I'm pretty sure she stopped, She had been probably stopped talking to him while she's been in jail. That's usually how it goes. Like, people don't stay in contact. And then she may not even be able to contact him because of what they did together. So, I don't think people are thinking about that. But, I don't know. I wouldn't think that she would still be in contact with him. She's moved on. She has a husband. How would he feel about her sending him money and putting money on his books and stuff? I'm pretty sure he wouldn't like that. But. Yeah. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think about um, her celebrity now. Because she's literally a celebrity. She's a celebrity right now.
I mean, I saw her on, what was it? Um, is it The View? I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't dad on talk shows. But it was a daytime talk show that she was on. And I was just like, wow. Like, she is making the rounds, honey. She is making the rounds. Oh, we have to talk about, um, I don't, did we talk about this already? But I don't think, I, I think I just mentioned it fleetingly, like, I know y'all heard about the 215 bodies that they found in like a mass grave behind a jail in Mississippi, right? And we know that one of those, uh, young men, um, was walking down the street one night. And uh, uh, I believe he was an off-duty police officer. Yeah, they said he was an off-duty police officer. Uh, hit him and killed him. And then they went and put him in a, um, a plastic bag, is what I heard y'all allegedly, and put him underground. No embalming. None of these bodies that they have out there have are, were embalmed. Nothing, y'all. So they actually have a smell. And they're not like deep in the ground either. I mean, but they're not on top, but they're not deep like they should be. Anyway, um, and I'm like, um, hmm. When somebody hits somebody, unalives them, and then didn't tell anybody, didn't tell next kin, didn't call his mama, nothing, y'all. And when they when they unearthed him, he had his ID in his pocket. The ID was in his pocket. So obviously he still had his clothes on, y'all. Like is that not Erder May? Like, he unalived him. He should be charged. That man should be charged. They know the story right now is it's with him, at least one of them. They know the story and what happened and how he got there. And the reason that, you know what I'm saying, we know any of that is because his mom was looking for him. She said she was looking for him, I think she said some months. I don't know exactly how many months, but she was looking for him um, for months. Anyway, she found out, and nobody knows how she found out. That's what everybody wants to know. Everybody wants to know how she found out where he was and what happened also. Anyway... Put in the comments if y'all know, you know, um, how she found out. But, yeah, somebody needs to be charged. People need to be sued. All kind of stuff. Like, and it's not just black people in that um, grave. There's white people. There was, like, everybody's, like, family and stuff was holding up pictures at this, like, um, conference or some type of, uh, something that they was having, uh, uh, town meeting. I don't know what they're called, okay? But they all got together and, um, you know, a lot of families with missing um, family members are thinking that that's where they are. You know, it's, there's 215 of them. Y'all, I can't even believe it. Like, that is so strange. Who does that? Who unalive somebody and then go buries them themselves? So, yeah, that's what's going on in Mississippi. That's one of the things. Like, there's so much going on around this world, y'all. It's unreal. Then, like I had said before, there was an avalanche in, um, and I do believe they said this was California. Yeah, massive avalanche in California that um, buried a bunch of people, y'all. And they're out there, um, you know, they were they went out there to try to, you know, uh, free these people. I don't know if everybody was freed or not. Um, but yeah, people were buried under the avalanche. Like it was, uh, let's say it was a lot of people. Um, a 
massive avalanche just happened in California, and they have no idea how many people are trapped under the thousands of pounds of snow. Now, this happened thousands at 9 30 a.m. local time in California. It was at the Palisades Tahoe, and so far, the wind gusts have been up to a 155 mile an hour gust wow. at the nearby Alpine Meadows. This came out. It's yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know it freaking snowed in California. Like, what part of California is that? Massive search and rescue underway at Tahoe Ski Resort. Palisades Tahoe Ski Resort in Olympic Valley, California. Okay, girl. I did not know it snowed in California. I always thought that it was... It never rains in Southern California. I thought that it was always sunny out there. That's what I would always hear. But I didn't know that they had places in California that snowed. I didn't. Sure didn't. Sorry. Didn't know. The major avalanche buries and injures multiple people. Numerous emergency personnel and other agencies are currently at the Palisades Tahoe Ski Resort in Olympic Valley, California, conducting a massive search and rescue after multiple people were buried in a major avalanche near GS Gully area of the KT-22 lift. All lift operations at Palisades and Alpine are closed for today. The extent of trapped individuals remains unknown at this time, but wow. reports of multiple injuries and this story is still developing. As people were driving down the road, they saw multiple police officers sprinting towards this mountain because they have so many people that they're still looking for. And with the wow. mountains of snow, they're going to need as many emergency personnel as possible. But right now, with all the crazy... I hope everybody's okay. Like, I hope they find each and every freaking person. Like, that is so sad. So sad. Um. What else is going on? Y'all, they arrested a third person in the, um... Savannah Soto um, unalivings, sure did. That person that everybody saw throw that towel to um, uh, the husband. Anyway, it was the wife, okay? It was the wife. When they had talked to her, um, she told them that she didn't know nothing about nothing. She never left the house. She was asleep. Guess what incriminated her? Their own surveillance system at their house. It's a she, they got cameras on their house, so they the police them took the cameras. The the cameras show, show that um basically she was helping them too. She got more charges than the other two. She got more charges than her husband and her son. Like, honey, they was working together that night. They were working together. Like, wow, that makes me think how many other people, you know what I'm saying, would have done the same thing for their child. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm -mm. Now she's in trouble. She's, she's definitely going to jail with, with these uh, charges that she got. Let me see. And they said that she's not cooperating with the police. Here, this is her. Three felonies, uh, the first one being alter, destroy, conceal a human corpse, 
which is a second degree felony. She's also being charged with abuse of corpse, which is a state jail felony, and a third charge, tampering with evidence. Uh, wow. Through our forensic uh, unit, we were able to develop information from surveillance video uh, that shows Miss Romanos involved the night of the murder. Uh, that video surveillance shows her at the home right after the murders, and she was seen on video surveillance leaving in that black truck that mm -hmm. we all saw on the surveillance video, uh, and then returning to her home with, with both uh, in. Christopher and Ramon in that truck. Yep. So she basically went and got the two of them after they, you know, finished doing what they needed to do with the bodies. Like, I just can't believe it, y'all. I literally just cannot believe that they did that. Like, that, I just, mm, it's so sad. That is so freaking sad. I hope they get what they deserve. I really hope they do, because they just, oh. Dude, the, the son, he's being charged with capital murder. I feel like when they say capital murder, like it's the worst kind. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the worst kind of charge that you can get. That's what it sounds like to me. Or like first degree, you know, unaliving. Like that sounds horrible. Um, I wonder what the difference is between capital unaliving and first degree. I wonder what the difference is. Anyway, I could look it up, but I don't feel like it. But yeah, so they got her behind throwing that towel so he can whoop. I just, ugh. Oh my God. Throw him a towel. That is some gangster stuff, y'all, for real. Throw him a towel. That's so freaking sad. Y'all, we've been having cats. I know y'all hear that. Right in front of my door. This cat is acting like we have a cat up in here. And I was telling Marshall, I was like, I think that the cats around here smell um, kitty. The cat that we used to have. I think that they may smell her. I do not know. But, I mean, they be yelling all freaking during the day and night, y'all. Why? <laughs> Mercia said they in heat right now. So I'm like, oh, great. Great. Now they about to have babies. And they're just going to... Because we've already been through this, y'all. When these cats have babies. Because our neighbor feeds them. They're basically his cats. Like, he calls them his cats. Like, he... Y'all, when I tell y'all, he has, like, all of these cats in the front of his yard. They just be chilling. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they walk over here, be in our yard, be in the neighbor's yard over here, y'all. <clears throat> anyway, so I guess it's time to get pregnant again. And I don't know what happened to all those cats that they, you know, birthed uh, last time. Obviously, they're gone. Thank God, because it was a bunch of them, y'all. Like, I just couldn't even believe it. Like, <sighs> I just... And then I tried to call, like, the, the animal service to come and get them. They wouldn't even come and get them, y'all. They would. I thought that's what those services were for, to come and, like, get stray dogs and cats and, you know, just strays. Honey, they would not even come. Nope. They said they filled up or whatever. Like, girl. Anyway, yeah, I'm full. I can't anymore. I can't. Anyway, <clears throat> which one do y'all love more, cats or dogs? Let me know in the comments. I like dogs more. Like, I used to not be, a, like, a pet lover at all, cats or dogs, y'all, because I grew up, my mom, she it just, she didn't like animals at all. No animals. The only thing that we had was a, um, a hamster, and we only had that hamster for, like, two weeks, y'all, and, and it died. And that was, that was it, honey. There was nothing else. There were no birds. There was no dogs, no cats, no nothing when I was growing up. So I was used to not, you know. Oh, you know, we had fish. That's what we had. We had a 50-gallon fish tank. And my dad loved um, Pacostomus. Those he liked. Um, oh, my God. What, Oscars. 
And uh, I remember we had goldfish. Now, we had like the bigger goldfish, but those didn't last long at all. The Oscar fishes did. Um, but we used to buy like the small goldfish to feed to the Oscars. And my dad was into that for a long time. He had a big, long 50-gallon uh, tank with all the bells and whistles, everything, y'all. And he bought the Placostomus, I believe that's how you um, pronounce it, uh, to clean the, um, the tank, okay? Because the tank will get dirty really easy, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the Placostomus would keep it clean. Um... So, yeah, that was that was pretty much all we had growing up. So, when I moved out, I didn't want no freaking animals. I didn't like animals because that's how I grew up. And then when I met <laughs> Murder Show here, he was an animal freaking lover. And we ended up getting um, Bobby. And, y'all, I could not get used to Bobby. until Y'all, it was a long time. Like, <laughs> I could not get used to Bobby. Um... But I eventually did. Um, and yeah, I love dogs now. But they have to be small dogs. I don't. I can't with the big dogs. Y'all already know that. They have to be like t toy. You know what I'm saying? I think those are the prettiest freaking dogs. And the pr some of the prettiest dogs come from overseas. Like those dogs that look like literal little bears. Oh my God, y'all. I want one so bad. I don't even know what they're called. But I want one, okay? And that is, like, we can't have no second um, animal that is uh, not a, some type of a toy animal. I, I don't know. I wouldn't want it. Mm -mm, not at all. But I want one of those, like, teddy bear-looking um, dogs. Ugh, they're so freaking cute. Um, but, yeah, y'all, so that is it. Um... 10 out of 10 on this, okay? 10 out of 10. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok, okay? Um, and the person who asked me to do uh, a get ready with me, um, you know what? Maybe I should check the comments to see what you said because I asked you to tell me were you talking about on this channel or the uh, vlog channel. So let's see what you see, girl. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh, Jeanette Sturgis. Uh, KO3FL says, yummy, this is not meant to, this is not meant to take wrong, but why do you touch your hair while eating? Just, just pull it back in a ponytail when you're doing the videos. Yeah, no. <laughs> I like my hair like this and I was doing it because sometimes the hairs, like straight hairs, like get in my eyes and I might do that. You know what I'm saying? I noticed me doing that when I was editing the blog. Um, or when I look in the camera, I'll see something I don't like and I'll try to move it. You know what I'm saying? That's why. That's all. <laughs> That's it. And, oh, I don't, I don't like putting my hair back in a ponytail. I have on a wig. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't have my hair like this to do videos to just to pull it back in a ponytail. Like, I'm not... I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not one of those that be pulling my hair back uh, to eat, you know? I know it makes sense for some people, but not for me. Um, Riri Love 1962 says, just a few natural herbal remedies that may help with hot flat. Thank you, girl. Huh? Huh? Thank you. Evening Primrose. I've heard of that. Ashwagandha. I have that. Uh, D3, I just finished a bottle. I need to get another one. Maybe that's why. Because I told you, all of a sudden, they started coming like freaking crazy. And I was taking D3. But I ran out of it. Like, 
how long ago? It, I think it's been like two or three weeks. I ran out and I was like, well, I didn't think that I would need it again, but I guess I need to get another bottle. Thank you, girl. Uh, pre and probiotics. Okay, for women, magnesium, turmeric with uh, curcumin, curcumin, lion's mane, and turkey tail mushroom, alkaline water, uh, less B12, and caffeine. Girl, thank you. Like, for all of the options... Jeez Louise, um, I need to pick, first of all, I'm def, I'm going to be ordering um, the D3 from uh, Amazon right after this video. Um, I already have ashwagandha and it is disgusting. It is disgusting. <laughs> oh girl, I tried. I, I took it twice. It, 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 it was just, I, I can't. Maybe I need to get the pill form. Maybe I should do that. Um, girl, thank you though. Um, it's Nessa four six eight cents hearts. Thank you, girl. Michael Stewart says that looks amazing, but without cheese. What did I um? Without cheese? What? Oh my! How you gonna have a chopped cheese without cheese? <laughs> you must can't eat cheese. Um. Jim Wiz 6642 says, just heard keto diet is giving people heart attacks. Oh, well, I guess that's what I'm going to die of, huh? <laughs> I guess that's what I'm going to die of. Um, Black Beauty 991 says, I like the Prince family. I think they would meet up. They seem that. I know they do. They seem really nice. I have heard things, but to me, they seem nice. Um, but we're going to see. Uh, T.T. Lopez, 1986, says, Yummy, I don't know why I thought you was dressed up like Spider-Man. <laughs> what? I had to go to your TikTok to see the complete... <laughs> to see the complete outfit. And it's fire. I love that dress. Thank you, girl. Looks good. Looks good on you and that sandwich. Yes, yes. I normally say my back gonna stay big eating like you, but it's all keto. It's gonna get smaller. Yes, ma'am. Are you? Yeah, you did. I think, did you say you had um, started keto? I think you did. Yeah, girl, trust me. You're not gonna get big. You're not. You are not, girl. Um... Natasha J's um, World Overcomer says, yes, make this, yes, you make this look so good. I have to do turkey burgers soon. Yes, girl. Yeah, you can make a, um, a chopped cheese with um, turkey, turkey meat. TT um, Lopez 1986 also says, reach out to them. They may be willing to meet y'all since you're a content creator and y'all are both in the same city. That would be really nice. I know. I know, y'all know I'm scared though. I mean, not scared, but just like nervous to, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I think I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? For Jaden, cause I just know, I know he would just love it. I know he would. Um, So we gonna see. I'm gonna let y'all know, I probably won't record. Cause for some reason I feel like I don't know. For some reason, I feel like they wouldn't want me to record. And I don't want them to think that that's why I'm contacting them to, you know, record them. Because I'm pretty sure, you know, people always want to record them because they're so big on YouTube. Um, but I would just would like for, you know, Jaden to meet them. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to record. But y'all know I'm going to tell, tell y'all about it, though. Most definitely. Um... Slither these or Slither D's, LOL says, I'll be 45 next month. Them hot flashes ain't no joke. Girl, <laughs> I'm glad somebody feeling me. OMG, I had to go to the doctor to make sure I wasn't tripping. Girl, it's serious. Um, They were like, yep, you're going through it already. Shaking my head. What? Dang, girl, I wish you would have told me if they gave you something for it. 
tell me. Let me know if they gave you anything. Um, but I'm 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 gonna try the natural route, and I would suggest that you do too. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to take none of those types of medicines that the doctors have to give. Like, I I don't. I'd really rather just go through it honestly. But I'm gonna go the natural route and see what you know what I'm saying. I'm going to get that D3 because I was not having a whole lot of um, hot flashes when I was taking that D3. I was not. Because <laughs> I would have told y'all. Um, Mo to Moni 723 says, yes, your camera quality is fine. Like, I knew it. I freaking knew it. Um, Tamise B3245 says, hey, did you receive my email? Tamise, did you email me? No, I haven't received it. Let me check. Let me check. I'll definitely check. Um, Kathy Yarbrough9443 says, I hate hot flashes, honey. They are bad. Bless you. <laughs> thank you, girl. <laughs> like, thank God I'm not hot flashing right now. But, girl, earlier, I wanted to rip my clothes off. And it didn't help when I went outside, it wasn't cold because I was hoping that it would be cold. It was really nice outside, um, but it wasn't cold today at all. And I needed it to be cold, honey. Uh, Sliver, Sliver D's LOL says, hey, yummy. Yes, I would love to see a get ready with me on the behind the scenes channel. That was a great idea. Okay, okay. Um... And y'all, after I'm done with this video, um, I am going to do that perfume video. My favorite perfumes, I'm going to do that. So, um, I was supposed to do it, like, what, two days ago? But, yeah, I didn't get a chance to. So, I'm going to do it today. Um, Joyce Mac 1459 says, Yummy Bites, it look delicious. Thank you. Um... Southern Girl Cooking 1588 says, Hi, beautiful. Great video. Food always looks delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, let's see. Joanna Aguilar uh, 4961 says, Would you make goat cheese casserole with uh, kale chips? Ooh, kale chips, huh? Have I ever heard of kale chips? Hmm, I would have to see how to make kale chips. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta be honest, kale chips don't sound delicious. But I guess I have to try it first, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all know I love me some goat cheese casserole. Oh, that is like one of the, one of the things on high on my list, honey, that I love. Tinkerbell underscore 8156 says, Hey, yummy, hey, girl. Let me start by saying you look beautiful per usual. Thank you, girl. Um, those colors you have all complement your hair and skin tone so well. Thank you. Oh, my God. Um, I wanted to tell you about this keto brand by the name of uh, Hungry Squirrel that I saw here on YouTube. Okay. Not sure if you've heard. No, never heard of them um, already or not. But I just thought I'd share you're killing this journey. You inspire me. Sending light and love from Alabama. Thank you, girl. Oh, oh my God. That is all I freaking want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is what I want to do. Inspire people. Inspire people to get healthy, lose the weight that they want to lose. You know what I'm saying? And not be so afraid to do it. And not be so afraid, like, you know, I won't be able to eat this. I won't be able to eat, eat that. Because that's what was stopping me, you know. Then, once you start, then you start to figure out what you can substitute, uh, you know, what you can eat instead of, of, of what you actually want, you know. Um, it's just, I feel like I'm, like I'm, I'm satisfied, you know what I'm saying, with my diet, um. Sometimes I do want to eat corn on the cob, but I can't eat it. So what? Big deal. It's just freaking corn. I've had it before. You that's how you gotta think about it. I've had it before. So you know what I'm saying? Um, what else? Potatoes, fries and stuff, you know. I've had it. I had a whole lot of it. You know what I'm saying? 
it, it, it's, it's time to let some things go. Some things you could substitute and some things you could just freaking let go for the purpose of the goal that you that you want to achieve. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's more important than some fries or the corn on the cob. That's how you got to think about it, y'all. Uh, girly girl, 95 cents heart. Thank you, girl. Um, Raymo Blast says burgers are live, aren't they? Oh my God. I found my people. Like, ah. Uh. I love burgers, y'all. Like, and I think I love burgers because of the combination of like when you bite it, you're biting into a tomato, lettuce, onions, pickle, cheese, and meat. Like all of that in one bite with mayonnaise and ketchup and stuff. It is just the most amazing thing. Like I can't even like it's just so good to me. It really is. Um, to me, B three two four five says. Those look absolutely delicious. I can't wait to see the recipe on the family vlog channel. Yes, girl. I actually already put it out. Um, I put it out a little bit earlier today because people on Instagram, y'all, be asking for the recipes. They be wanting the recipe, like, to be up after I, you know what I'm saying, put the, um, the reel up on Instagram. They be wanting to see their recipe. And, you know, sometimes I'm going to have to upload it early for them. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I'm going to upload it later for y'all, you know? Like, I got to, you know, I got to please everybody. Or uh, try to, at least. Um, user SJ2EI7TI2 says, I'm glad you can't find those crazy eggs. I think it's simple to eat a little baby chicken. Just trying to develop and they stopped it just so people can eat them to meet us. Uh, disgusting. It's okay to eat eggs, but not a baby chick. That uh, they stopped the process of development in order to, to just eat them. Like, that's, that's so disgusting to me. <laughs> that is not right. I wouldn't care who wanted me to try it. I wouldn't. I think you... Uh, going, I think you're going to throw up <laughs> before you get it in your mouth. Yeah, I, you know, hey, I don't mind that I can't find it. Trust me, I don't mind. Okay, so, <laughs> but I definitely get where you're coming from. Definitely. Um, but, you know, um, that egg, that balloon egg is like, um, you know, that's a part of, people's culture you know um asian people it's a part of their culture you know what i'm saying so um i respect it but i would rather not you know what i'm saying i was actually just gonna do it for y'all but if i was just doing it for me no i i wouldn't um what in the world B Bogany OC two B J says, "Good afternoon, beautiful queen. That homemade New York uh, cheese looks so delicious, and thank you for the awesome video. And you look so beautiful as always. I really enjoy you, queen, and I thank you, sis. Thank you, thank you for watching and supporting. I really appreciate it." Um. Peggy Benson six three four nine says, "I agree back then." I, I agree. Back then was the best. Yes, yes. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Um, Mercedes Stinson584 says, Have you seen Tabitha Brown's latest video from January 11th? Very tactful way to handle viewers that, inter that irritate you. Um, I didn't see the whole video, but I saw... Um, when she had first started that video, I think I know which video you're talking about. Because really, a lot of her videos that she comes out with, she is kind of teaching you how to handle, you know, people in your comment section. And just how to handle people in general, like in your life. Um, she's always giving good advice like that. Um, yeah, and I do. I listen to her advice, but sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Um... Sometimes I have time and it might not be the right time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
you know um yeah but she has great advice and sometimes i take it but sometimes i don't <laughs> um but yeah she's the best i love her i literally love her um kashia i think that's how you say your name girl kashia taylor three four six eight said hey hey do you think uh touching those plants yeah yeah y'all was pulling had a a feeling weird just asking and food looks good had you oh had ya feeling weird girl um i don't think so i don't think so were you feeling any kind of way after you uh was pulling those um plants outside no? Uh, somebody's asking. I don't know. Um, no, I, I wasn't feeling weird. Mercer said he wasn't feeling weird either. I don't know, girl. What What's up with the plants? Let me know. Like, what is up? Yeah, and I looked today and seen that YouTube cut the comments off. I literally wanted to see those freaking comments. But yes. YouTube cut them off. Once again, I went back as soon as I saw that today and cut them back on. So, y'all, you know, and I know some people are saying, uh, I see, uh, you cut the comment. I keep trying to tell y'all, I'm not cutting the comments off. You can believe what, what you want to believe, okay? I'm not cutting them off. It's YouTube, okay? And whenever I see that they are cut off, I cut them back on. And sometimes you, YouTube comes back around and cuts them off again. You know, it's just weird. It's really weird. Because I literally want to see y'all's comments. Like, I'm not trying to run from y'all. I want to see y'all's comments. I want to talk back with y'all. Um, Sheila Green 4515 says, What's up, Yummy Bites? That sandwich looks yummy. Thank you. Um, what else? Karen Avant 2281 says, girl, you're in the botanical gardens eating a sandwich. Love the background. <laughs> Thank you, girl. I love that background. That's why I keep using it. I don't know if y'all are wondering why I'm always using that. But I love it. The colors are beautiful. It just, it literally makes me happy when I'm editing the video. Like, and I hope that y'all get the same feeling too. Like, I love that. And I be thinking about y'all when I pick the background because I want y'all to enjoy the video and the background. You know what I'm saying? So, I hope y'all are um, enjoying it. Um, Lily Portis 7100 says, Hey, yummy. This sandwich looks delicious. And definitely reach out to the Prince family. That would be super awesome for your son. Yes. Keep them um everyday videos coming you definitely look beautiful thank you girl thank you that's so sweet um loretta moses um 5447 says so delicious girl you just don't know girl it was so good like that meat was so it was flavored so well and perfect it was literally perfect y'all oh god um, Dana Carey, um, two, five, six, nine says, Hey, yummy. That sandwich looks delicious. Thank you, girl. Oh, y'all. Oh my God. They seeing about getting me a, um, a rental car, y'all. Uh, I'm so glad like things are getting underway now. Like, oh, my lawyer's going to get back to me with the information, y'all. Like I just, I, <laughs> I want something to drive. Like, honestly, like, I really do. I be having stuff I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, my toes need to get done bad. <laughs> Real bad. Um, Melanie L. Wilson says, why don't you, why don't you reach out to the, I am, I am. She's talking, she's talking about the uh, Prince family. I, I definitely am. Um, Rose Miles 865 says, looking beautiful as always. Thank you, girl. Um, Melanie L. Wilson says, you've been putting out the bangers in 29. Girl, you put 29, 24. <laughs> I, I'm like, 29, 24? <laughs> 
Those sandwiches look so good. I hope all is well with you and the fam. Thank you, girl. Everything is great. Everything is great. Um, Rose Miles 865 says, hey, girl, have a wonderful Thursday. Thank you so much. And I want to thank everybody who has multiple comments in the comment section. I so appreciate that. That lets me know that you are literally watching the video. You know what I'm saying? I so appreciate that. Um, Jessa... 8221 says, hi, beautiful. Hey, girl. Um, that sandwich looks so daggone good. <laughs> I promise I wish if I lived next door because I'd be wanting a yummy bite of everything you cook. Oh, uh, every video you make is a banger. Girl, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Keep up the great work. Looking amazing. P.S. I haven't commented in a while, but I'm here supporting and sending likes. Thank you, girl. Oh, my God. I love when people say they haven't, um, or they don't usually comment or they haven't commented in a while and they comment and let me know. Like, I appreciate that. I really do. I really do. Because sometimes people be busy. You know what I'm saying? They can't watch, you know? <clears throat> and I definitely understand that. Um, Deborah H. Cooper, 4184, says, hey, good afternoon. Food looks delicious. Thank you. Um... LaShawn1901 says, hey, yummy, hey. And let's see, who else? Um, Terilyn Penwright, 9209, um, sends a heart emoji and a hand emoji. Hey, girl. And let's see. Megan Saint sends hearts. Hey, girl. All right, y'all. That is it for the comments. Thanks. To everybody who comment and engage with the um, video, I surely do appreciate it. Um, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok, okay? Follow me on the Family Vlog channel. I am going to be filming that Get Ready With Me video tomorrow. I'm going to film what I think is a Get Ready With Me for the video type of video. Um, and I was telling y'all on the vlog, I was saying that the reason why I don't be doing that is because when I'm getting ready, y'all, I am straight jamming. Okay? Loud music. It just gets me ready for the mukbang. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, uh, uh, like the vibes I be having. Like, they're just, like, perfect. And um, so, when I film this, I won't be able to listen to my music. Um, But I'm going to show y'all, like, different parts of, of what I do. Um, do. I'm trying to see if I should like have it separate. They like to get ready with me part separate from the recipe. You know, me cooking. I'm probably going to do it separate. What y'all think? I should probably do it separate because y'all, if I put those together, it, the video would be so freaking long. It would be so long. Um, anyway, I'll figure it out though. But I'm definitely going to do that for y'all. And the perfume haul. Like, I literally can't wait to do that. Like, I'm excited. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh-uh, uh-uh. Hey, 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 uh-uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all.